Hey, welcome to another video. This is part two in a two video series. So make sure you watch the first one to see how I got to this point. In part one, I shaped the mantle. So going forward in this video, I'm working on detailing the pine boughs and cardinals. This mantle is carved out of one solid piece of white pine wood and took me around 46 hours to complete it. Carving this style of pine needles was new to me. I've carved pines in the past, but not like this. I wasn't completely sure how to go about it, so I really took my time on the first one to figure out how I wanted to carve it. I eventually figured out a process that I liked. With gouges, I broke up that large section that I shaped earlier by carving smaller sections of needles that will be grouped together. I then layered these sections of needles back into the carving to give them depth. Once it was broken up into sections, I used my Dremel to carve in the delicate individual pine needles. Due to the soft nature of pine, any attempt to carve the needles with gouges resulted in them breaking no matter how sharp I got them. The pine needles were very small and fragile, so a Dremel was my only option to get the look I was hoping for. I repeated this process throughout the mantle and I shaped each section of pines a little different to hopefully give the carving some character. I don't have much video of this, but I also carved in jagged ends to each section of pine, which breaks up the ends of the needles a bit, giving them different lengths. Needles don't have the exact same length throughout, so this helps give it a more natural look to it. To create the bark texture on the branch, I used a small gouge and rocked it back and forth as I carved. This creates little cuts and jagged grooves. I used this technique across and then with the branch, giving it a nice random look. I finished it by lightly sanding, which helps tone the texture down a little bit. The pine cones I really enjoyed carving, and it was fun to watch them slowly take shape. After drawing the design back onto the wood, I first carved around each cone scale with a small V gouge. Then with a small gouge that matched the shape, I created stop cuts around each scale. From there I basically chip carved the pine cone. The scales were fragile so I had to be careful not to break any off, and I carved them pretty deep which created nice shadows and depth.
After drawing the design back onto the wood, with a small V-gouge, I carved in the main feathers for the wings. With my Dremel using a small flat bit, I carved in the fur using multiple tiny strokes. Due to my limited gouge collection, I was unable to carve the undercut side of the cardinal's head. It's just too tight of an area. This isn't necessary because it can only be seen when looked at from a sharp angle on either side, but it can really finish the carving off nicely if completed. Someday I hope to have a gouge collection that will allow me to carve this area. After I finished the carving of the main mantle, I cut out two small accent overlays that will be glued onto the mantle on both ends of the carved area. I used the same technique to carve the pine needles and cones here, but I had to be very careful for how much pressure I applied when carving. The small and skinny areas were vulnerable to breaking, so I had to take my time. I really liked these overlays though, and I think they complemented the mantle nicely, giving it that finishing touch. After 46 hours of carving, this mantle was finished off with a coat of gunstock stain which should match the stained portions of their porch nicely. I really liked this project and am proud to have it displayed over the fireplace, becoming a focal point in the room. This mantle will hopefully be cherished for years to come. Thank you for watching, make sure you share, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.